So the first bit of tackle news might be considered good news or it could be bad news. Now what I mean by that is that I was on Digitaka recently and it looks like that they have the 2018 Shimano Aldebaran MGL running at 30% off. So the good news is potentially we could be getting an all new Aldebaran MGL, non BFS model of course, or the bad news could be that Shimano is discontinuing this model altogether. Because when these models go on sale like this, they're usually discontinued, but their replacements have been revealed. So if we look down the list here, let me show you what I mean. So the old Metanium DC, they were clearing them out at 40% off, of course because the new Metanium DC was announced. They're all sold out by the way. Okay, so apparently the old Scorpion MD also is 40% off because we have a new Scorpion MD that was announced this year as well. That also goes for the Scorpion MGL, the red one. That's also running at 40% off. And it looks like the 2020 SLX DC is 40% off because I think they came out with the new SLX DC in I think 2022 or maybe last year. So of course the 20 model has been replaced and it looks like the old SLX MGL is also 30% off because of course we got a new SLX MGL announced this year. So where is the new replacement Aldebaran? I mean it's still on Shimano Japan's website but seeing it go on sale and of course they're all sold out leads me to wonder why haven't Shimano announced a new replacement reel unless they plan on discontinuing it. Let's hope that they replace it. Because the 2018 Aldebaran MGL30 even though it's based off of an almost 10 year old platform it's still probably the best pitching reel that I have. And perhaps with the Metanium Shallow Spool Edition, which is also a 30 capacity spool, that might be what Shimano is potentially replacing or the reason why they could be discontinuing the Aldebaran MGL. So the other bit of tackle news that I'm going to show you guys is that over in Korea, it looks like Doyo has come out with, I believe, Korea's first dynamic magnetic brake system. And let's check it out. And this is a video from Doyo's website. Let me make sure I got this on 1440. It's going to be a short little promo video about, I guess, two new reels, but they're both the Koba series of reels from Doyo. And right here, they're actually showing you what Koba means. Choice of bass anglers. I never knew that until this video. Now this is not an all new frame, they're using an already existing frame but you can see it's going to come in two different colors, that titanium nitride coating and black. Good looking reels, look at that uh, side plate there with the brake dial. But here's the new brake system. Look at that. Let's watch that again. And we'll analyze it real quick. 
So this is, I think it's called the Paramag Inertia Brake System. Now a couple years ago, Doyo released their Paramag Brake System, which is a static magnetic system that just really placed the magnets in different areas in conjunction with the spool. The spool had a lip that stuck out a little farther and it interacted with the magnets. And this is the same system that was on the, I guess the Luz Pro TI Elite, their top of the line reel. But now they've come out with a new dynamic system and you can see that that lip has now become a moving rotor, just like Daiwa's MagForce. And the brakes, instead of going in and out, they move up and down or closer or farther away. Let's watch it again. See how the brakes move? Okay, and there's some features that you see in certain reels sold here in America. LSF series instead of LFS. So new for 2024. So now we're over here at Doyo Korea's website and we're gonna take a closer look at these new reels. And these reels look to be price-wise the top of the line Doyo reels you could get. Let's go into the specs and details. As you can see these knobs, very radical looking probably pretty heavy but let's check out some actual pictures yep good looking reel but I want to check out the brake system Okay, it's called the Paramag Inertia Transfer Brake System. So once again, it says at high RPM, this rotor cup will extend out. And at low RPM, it'll go back in. And of course, the brake system, instead of moving like this, it's gonna be moving up and down. Extreme casting distance because of this line guide, blah, blah, blah. Now you're probably wondering why am I showing you a reel that currently looks like you can only buy in Korea. Well before we go into that let me see if they're offering a shallow BFS. Well yep you can get this model in a super shallow BFS spool. I guess eventually. We'll see if they're going to show us a picture of it. Yep, right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's black, but very shallow. You can definitely see the massive inductor cup or rotor attached to the spool. And then of course all the other stuff. Now, this new brake system could be important because in case you didn't know, Doyo makes all loose reels. So all the technology you see in the lose reel comes from Doyo Korea. So in case you didn't realize, I did a video a couple of years ago on, where is it? Okay, it was on this one, the Koba Elite Platinum. And then of course, not surprisingly, at least to me, this comes over to America in the form of that new Luz Elite Reel. Same braking system, same spool and everything, just a different color, different knobs. So don't be surprised if you see Luz coming out with a new, possibly top of the line, baitcaster this year, probably iCast, sporting that new first ever dynamic brake system coming out of Korea. 
It looks to be like a mix mash of Shimano and Daiwa. And of course, we've seen this already coming out of China in the highball reels. But yeah, just a quick and short version of Tackle News. Usually I do these videos when I see news coming out about Tackle that I think is going to be important. Alright guys, thanks a lot.